Hi guys, welcome back to the Gaither Gang. Today's video is going to be showing you how we do language arts. We do it much differently than most people out there, I think. Um, we don't use a specific curriculum, so stick around to see what we do. Okay guys, so today's video, like I said, is going to be um, me talking to you about and showing you how we do our language arts. Um, it is working really well for us this year. Uh, last year we did the good and the beautiful. It was kind of a train wreck for us because of our family size. Um, I did a video telling everybody why we quit the good and the beautiful. Um, I put a card up here for you to follow or a link in the description if you want to see that video. Um, but this one is about how we actually do do our language arts. Um, and so let me kind of explain to you guys um, why I came to the decision to do it this way. Um, we were trying different curriculums and I had, last year, I had a nine-year-old, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and two two-year-olds. So as you can imagine, um, at those ages, getting much school in was hard. <laughs> um, and so I was trying to sit down with, um, obviously not the two-year-olds, although I didn't, I didn't just ignore them. I did work with them on some stuff. But um, I was trying to sit down with three different kids for three different levels of language arts. So sit down with kid one for language arts, sit down with kid two for language arts, sit down for kid three, then sit down with kid one for math, kid two for math, and kid three for math. Then, by that time, the two-year-old twins had flipped over every piece of furniture we owned and torn down all the curtains and, you know, just wreaked havoc on the house. Um, it just wasn't working for us. And so, I went on a search for uh, language arts that could be family style. We could all sit down and do language arts at the same time and I could help whoever needed help and that was that. <laughs> So that's what perfection sounded like in my mind. I couldn't find that anywhere. Um, nothing that, I, I found some stuff that came close, but nothing that I actually wanted to do. So I made up my own. And um, this has worked so well for us this year. Um, we are still progressing. Kids are learning how to read. Um, and it's just working. So what we do, we have a whiteboard system. If you see these whiteboards behind me, um, each kid has their own whiteboard. Um, the twins share one. This is their whiteboard and they share one. Um, on my fifth graders board he has eight words um, that are his vocabulary and spelling words. He goes through those and he has to write down the definitions. He has to study those all week um, and then he has to take a test on, on spelling those on Fridays. Um, and then he also does fix-it grammar to where, I don't know if you've ever heard of fix-it grammar, but it is a really good grammar program from Institute of Excellence in Writing, IEW, if you want to look that up. Um, it's really a good grammar program. Um, you're learning lots of, lots of grammar rules, um, and all you have to do is correct one sentence per day. So they'll have a messed up sentence, the child corrects it and rewrites it in their copy work, and then um, the next day they do the same thing and add on to their copy work. So they're copying one paragraph per week, but they're only having to focus on one sentence per day. And so it's a daily practice, but it's not overwhelming. And so we really like that grammar. But other than that, um, I require him, he's 10, I require him to read um, and we do copy work and that's it. So he does definitions, spelling, uh, or <laughs> vocabulary, he does vocabulary, spelling, grammar, um, and copy work and, um, and it's just working. We don't need more than that, we don't need to be bogged down with anything else. So um, for my seven year old, he on his board, he gets... Um, he gets six sight words, so he works on six sight words every week. 
Then he gets what I call a builder, a building word, which is actually a blend. And he um, has to write down 10 words with that blend in it. So every single day, he's writing down his six sight words and 10 blends, or 10 words with one blend. Um, and so he's getting that daily practice. Then um, on his math rotation, when we sit down for math, I read with him. And so we work on reading and that's the language arts we do with him. My five-year-old has a board and on hers she has three sight words every day and she has a builder that she has to build five words out of and that's what she does. She copies those down every single day and makes the words every single day. Um, so they're getting lots of practice. Let me show you a couple of videos from some of my kids to see how it works. Morning Jack. Good morning, Mommy. <laughs> How old are you, baby? Seven. Seven? Let's do your board together. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Okay. Show me what's on your board. Say into will and how. How? Good job. Um, over, under, and... And wait. Okay. This is... You're going to build words with this one, right? With this mm -hmm. blend? And mm -hmm. what does this blend sound like? Tur. Yeah, tur. Good. And so what kind of words can you make with that? Trash. Okay. And um, truck. Truck. And tree. Okay. And um, track. Track? Yeah. Hi, Katie. <laughs> How old are you, baby? Five. Okay, let's do your board together, okay? Um... O a p pa chu qua r r s t ta um u u a a v um w w wa x Good. Now tell me your three words you're learning this week. I have did. Not did. Do. Do. Um, eat. Four. And four. And what is that that you're going to build words with down there? Um. Uh. Uh. Up. Up. And so what, what could you, what kind of words could you build with up? Um. It has to have up in it. Up. Uh huh. And so you could put k with it and do cup. What if you up. put up? And what if you put p in front of it? Pup. Pup. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much, sister. Good Whoa. job. Hi, Nate. Hi. How old are you? Three. Okay. Are you ready to do your board, with mommy? Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see it. Can I do this one? You want to do this one first? Okay, J what is that? J huh? J. J. J says, says J. J says J. Every letter makes a sound and J says J. For jellyfish. Good. All right, what about this one? What about that one? A snake. No, remember? I, I says it, I says it, every letter makes a sound, and I says it, for inchworm. Alright, what shape is that? A circle. A circle, what shape is that? A oval. An oval, what color is that? Brown. Brown, and what color is that? Black. Black! Give me high five! Good job! Good morning, Elijah. Um, morning. What are you doing? Um, I'm copying the uh, words off my language arts board and writing down the definitions in my book and then I have to read them off to you. Okay. So you're looking them up in the actual dictionary, huh? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much it. We do those boards for language arts. 
Um, we work in other things when we can, extra reading. Um, we do Mad Libs, that helps us with nouns, pronouns, adjectives, um, things of that nature. Um, and that's really all they need right now. And so what we do is after handwriting, um, we, so in the mornings, let me, let me back up. In the mornings, um, when it's time for me to start cooking breakfast, everybody comes to the table and um, I hand out handwriting sheets. So everybody works on their handwriting while I'm finishing up getting breakfast put together. And then we sit down and we have breakfast. They finish up their handwriting sheets and we move on to language arts. So everybody gets a notebook out. They do their language arts that's on their board. I help anybody who needs help. Then language arts is over. Voila, we've done family style language arts. Um, and then we move on to our math rotation. And our math rotation is just where um, each person takes a turn doing math with me. And um, when they're doing math, we also read together. And so it just works really well for us. Um, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments. I hope that I helped inspire any of you who are feeling weighted down by your language arts to be able to come up with your own ways. Um, I'm sure that I have probably left some kind of vital information out of this that you guys are dying to know. So ask me in the comments or contact me in my email. But I really do help that this has helped someone out there um, figure out how to do things better for your family. So, come back again.